seven days after being named strategic advisor, Tom Brady is being blamed for Delta Airlines' significant modifications to Sky Clubs. Tom Brady is used to criticism, but in the aftermath of Delta Airlines' significant alterations, the seven-time Super Bowl champion faced criticism of a different type. Delta has faced outrage after announcing plans to limit the number of people who may enter its lounges and tighten the requirements for consumers to gain frequent flyer status. The airline made the controversial move on Wednesday, just seven days after Brady was named a strategic advisor. Frustrated customers took to X and suggested Brady had some hand in the imminent alterations. Naturally, this is not known to be fact. Tom Brady redefines what it means to be a lead at Delta, one account wrote, referencing his status as perhaps the greatest football player of all time. Amusingly, a mock-up of the new requirements for medallion status was posted, stating customers need 25,000 medallion qualification miles or two Super Bowl championships to qualify. Those hoping for diamond status need 125,000 MQMs or seven Super Bowl titles, of which Brady is the only person in NFL history to do so. Tom Brady starts a partnership with Delta and Sky Miles goes to S. Who's to blame here, one woman wrote. While Brady's remuneration for his brand ambassadorship and advisory role have not been revealed, some took aim at the fact the future Hall of Famer was on the books at all. Hey at Delta maybe dedicate the money you're using to pay known millionaire at Tom Brady to walk back the embarrassingly bad hashtag SkyMiles changes you're trying to roll out. From February 1, 2025, travelers will have their access to the Atlanta-based airline's swanky Delta Sky Clubs cut to as little as six visits a year. Those who book a basic economy ticket will no longer be allowed into the lounge at all from January 1, 2024 even if they hold an American Express Platinum card or any other premium credit card. From early 2025, American Express Platinum and Platinum Business card holders will only be able to visit the Delta Lounge six times a year to enjoy access to free meals and drinks and a space to relax before their flight. Delta Reserve and Delta Business Reserve customers will be limited to 10 visits a year, the company announced. Brady has signed a long-term contract with the airline, and Delta CEO Ed Bastian has promised that magic is going to happen. Something has happened, to be sure. So far, perhaps fireworks. Brady's responsibilities will include assisting in the development of training and teamwork tools for the airline's 90,000-plus employees, as well as inspiring the next generation of Delta community leaders. During his childhood, his mother, Gallen, worked as a flight attendant. Delta welcomed the creative new cooperation as an opportunity to draw into his expertise in teamwork, performance, and tenacity.